Good day guys and welcome back to 72T. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to watch free to wear TV without an antenna on Fetch TV. Now there's a few terms and conditions about how this process works. We're going to discuss that in depth so you know exactly how this works. But if you were to get a multi-room of the Fetch Mini and just say the room you're going to put it in had no antenna, you can actually broadcast your free to wear from your Mighty. So you do need to have a multi-room. So just say you've got the Mighty in another room. So as you see in my shelf right there, you'll see the Mighty plugged in and it's got an antenna connected. What will happen, because we've got multi-room, when I connect the Fetch TV Mini, it's now going to share the recordings. So all my recordings on the Fetch Mighty to the Mini. And it's also gonna share my free-to-wear channels. So it will share all my free-to-wear channels and all my free-to-wear radio channels. I'm going to show you, you don't actually have to do anything to do this. All you need is a multi-room, so a Fetch Mini multi-room, and you can basically access anything on your main Fetch Mighty box. Now, I'll tell you a few things that does complicate this, so you know when you set it up, you won't have any issues. Just say your Fetch Mighty is coming through an internet cable through to your modem, and your Fetch Mini is going to be via Wi-Fi. It tends to have a problem with playing your free to wear channels over um, internet and then converting it to Wi-Fi, it can't do it. Um, it will play recordings from the Fetch Mighty onto your Fetch Mini, but it won't play those free to wear channels. So to avoid any sort of confusion, whatever you've got the Mighty connected to, so just say the Mighty's on Wi-Fi, connect the Mini on Wi-Fi as well. Don't connect the Mighty on land, uh, internet, and the Mini on Wi-Fi, it tends to not work. If you connect them both on land and both on Wi-Fi, they'll be fine. So just make sure the connection type is exactly the same. So let's just show you how to set it up and it's so easy, I'm gonna just show you right now. So let's open up the box. Right here, I'll just show you. It's very straightforward. And I actually just noticed this the other day. I didn't even know this feature existed. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. So what we wanna do is pull the um, box out right here. Okay. And then I'm uh, pretty sure I've already got power already here. So we just want to plug in our, as you see, I'm not going to be plugging any um, antenna in. So the antenna port is free, nothing's plugged in there. So you better clearly see that I'm not plugging anything extra in. Okay. Now what we'll need to do is um, tilt up the camera. So as you see, that's plugged in right there. We'll just, um, as soon as the other blue light turns on, we will tilt it up to the TV. Good. Okay, now let's tilt it up. Um, go. Okay, let me just get the angle right for you guys. Actually, we're just gonna tilt it up like this. Sorry about that, um, the tripod doesn't really want to do what we want. Okay. So that's turning on. So we'll just have to wait for that to boot up. So just wait for that to turn on. For some reason I can't pause. So as you see, it's connected to our um, MBN 72T fetch box, which is the one just under the cabinet there. So now let's see if we can pause because that's going to cause problems. Okay, good, we can pause. Okay, so now if we go onto the TV guide, right? Now I forgot this box has a different TV guide. Okay, as you see, you've got all the free to wear channels right there. So let's go and try and play 9 Gem. Let's go click on that right here and we'll hit watch. Now sometimes it does this, so it won't take too long and then it will quickly it's just trying to find it on our other Fetch Mighty box. Now that might, now sometimes it does do this little error. That work. There we go, you're in. And that way, basically, these live channels are broadcasting from the Fetch Mighty box. And 
as you see we can just change the channel sometimes it's a bit of a problem but normally it's pretty good it actually does so there you go done um, what's another free to watch channel? we keep going up let's go over to yeah the today show so every time you change the free to wear channels because it's been shared from the mighty box it's going to give you like this little circle checking so it just checks your box and then it loads the channel because this is all streamed over the internet because it's basically broadcasting it from your other fetch box to this fetch box some channels take longer than others but on the most part it actually works pretty well Going the wrong way again. Uh, let's try channel 7. And I believe that let us in. And there you go. So it, it does work, it works pretty good. And if you don't have an antenna in the room that you're putting the fetch mini, this is how you can do it, and it works pretty good right there. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that and basically how easy it is to do. There's no setup at all. All you got to do is have it connected to the same internet connection. Um, and then you're basically good to go. Um, yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to show you just how to do that. Very straightforward. And you can now watch your um, free to wear channels from your Mighty if you don't have an internet in your other room. Now, another option that you can do if um, you have a Mighty box and you don't have an antenna, you can actually go under uh, catch up and basically by going to catch up what that will allow you to do you can actually uh, go to nine now and click on live channels you know you'll have a bunch of live channels the same with seven plus you can watch live channels and they all broadcast over the internet that's if you have no internet at all but yeah if you've got a fetch mini you can now broadcast all your free to wear channels from your fetch mighty thanks for watching if you found it helpful let us know down below